Christ, you crazy mother... So having two cameras gives you two advantages. The first one is optical zoom and the second one is known as the bokeh effect. Let's start with one optical zoom. Now if you've ever used a phone camera before, it probably used something called digital zoom. This is how digital zoom works. I want you to pretend that this remote is one pixel. Right now, I can fit one, two, three, four pixels on this entire screen. Now what digital zoom does is it takes this one pixel and magnifies it so that it's the size of four pixels. So now you'll find that the remote does look bigger, but I can only fit one pixel on this massive screen. And what that means is that you can't fit as many pixels on your screen, so the picture looks blurry. And that's why you'll find that when you take a phone camera and you try zooming in, you'll notice that it gets blurry really quickly. But at the beginning of this video, I said that the iPhone 7 Plus doesn't have digital zoom. It has optical zoom. Now to explain that, I'm going to need a diagram. So let's go. So we know that the iPhone has a 28 millimeter lens and it has a 56 millimeter lens. Now, 28 is a pretty small number, which means that it has a wider range of view, right? And 56 is a pretty big number, so it has a smaller frame of vision. Now, since 28 is such a big number and it has a wide range of vision, if this was a block, you'd have all this background information and you'd have a block right in the center of it. But with the 56 millimeter lens, the block would appear the size of the entire frame and all this background information would be cut out. And since both cameras, the 28 and the 56 millimeter lens, have a 12 megapixel camera, it means that this shot is just as clear as this shot. So that way, the block will appear bigger, but it will have the same number of pixels, 12 megapixels to be precise, and that way, no picture quality is lost. And that is why optical zoom is 10 times better than digital zoom. Now, let's go into advantage number two, the bokeh effect. So if you don't know what the bokeh effect is, it's basically with the foreground, it's really clear, and the background, is kind of blurry. Here are a few examples of the bokeh effect. Now the only reason photographers can achieve this is because they have massive lenses. But with a phone camera, it's really puny, so you can't achieve the same effect. That's why by adding two lenses, they kind of act as your eyes. So I want you to try this right now. Block one eye, and try looking at something that's far away. You can't really tell how far away it is because you don't have any depth perception. And as soon as you open that second eye, you can actually see how far away something is. So these two lenses kind of act as your eyes because they can tell how far away something is. They can tell that you are in the foreground and that they must make you clear and that the background is really far away and that they must make that blurry. And using information from two cameras, you can achieve the bokeh effect. Now the important thing to note here is that the bokeh effect requires software and hardware. Now the iPhone 7 Plus definitely has the hardware, it has two cameras, but it doesn't have the software just yet. So the software will come out with iOS 10.1, maybe 10.2, so you're gonna have to wait for a few months before this effect comes out. In that time, the next iPhone will probably come out and you'll have something else to look forward to. All right guys, Thank you for watching. If you want to see me explaining more technological concepts like that in the future, feel free to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.